What's going on everybody? Kyle Summers here, your licensed professional bro therapist, and I'm not just a bro therapist. I believe I'm the best damn bro therapist in the state of Texas. And why do I think that I'm the best bro therapist? Because I know what I'm talking about. And what I want to share with you today is a little bit of a rant, but stick with it. Stick with it. A therapist is somebody that has gained a lot of knowledge and a lot of skill in order to help you. But if you don't do the work, it doesn't doesn't get better. Nothing changes. All right. So I'm going to show you a little bit on whiteboard as far as what this all looks like and what I'm talking about. So a therapist, a licensed therapist, has approximately seven years of college. Now, mine was actually eight because, well, you know, it took a little bit longer. That's okay. After that eight years of college, getting their master's degree, they got to get 3,000 hours of post-graduation internship hours where they are, again, challenged to learn new skills. They have a supervisor that's constantly kind of molding them into better understanding their clients and how to help them. In addition to that, myself, I have 10 years of experience working in mental health field. Actually, that's a lie. I have 12 years. 12 years. And during that 12 years, I've worked with just about every individual possible, ranging from mild depression to severe schizophrenia. I've transported psychotic individuals in my car. For several years, I saw people in their homes, sat on their couches, talk to them about their suicidal thoughts, about the extreme domestic violence going on in their home, and have worked with such a wide array of people that my knowledge of how to see their life in their, in their eyes has, as in my opinion, been perfected. And I believe that I can help the people that I take on as clients. But none of that matters if you don't do the work. So if this axis represents improvement and this axis represents um, work, the more work you do, the more improvement you're going to have. And it doesn't matter if you come and see me once a week hell, even twice a week. If you don't do the kind of stuff that we talk about in between sessions, nothing will change. And the reason for that is that when you're in the session, I hear this all the time. People are in session, they're like, yeah, I walked out and I just, I felt it and I had a, an idea of what to do. And then about six hours later, it was gone. Yeah, because you fell back into your comfort zone. You were challenged in that session to to see things differently, to do things differently, and something happened where you lost that and you went back to what's comfortable, what you've been doing. And it's kind of like all of these things are true for all therapists and the amount of years experience will vary, obviously, but take advantage of this. You go see a personal trainer and you only see that personal trainer let's say once a week, guess what? No gains, <laughs> no muscular or endurance gains if you're only working out once a week. You gotta work out consistently. If you're dieting one day a week and the other six days you're eating like crap, guess what? Nothing's gonna change, you know? And you know, just to look at it from a mathematical equation, so if I were, so this would be 11, 7 divided by, you carry the 12 to the second power, divide all this by 42 equals 42 a very strong bro therapist. So guys, like I said, put in work. 
If it's face-to-face -face counseling, put in the work. If it's online self-help, put in the work. Put in the work and see what happens. All right, guys. Hope you enjoy the video. Do the things that YouTube wants you to do. Like, comment, subscribe, download, purchase. Um, I don't know. Whatever else they want you to do. And have yourself a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.